So looking at some of the screens that were coded from last week, if you have areas that are dripping or really thick, so on these screens here you have thin emulsion, then really thick areas and those drip marks, it will not expose correctly in those areas. You really need to have, like in this example, one thin, clean pass of the emulsion. So areas like this, for demo purposes, will not expose and you'll have issues and problems. So I'm gonna clean out these screens, recode them for everybody today in the dark room as a learning experience. And then the next time I'll go over again on Friday, the correct pressure and you know how to get a nice clean scoop coat or emulsion on your screen. Okay, in the dark room, you're gonna take the scoop coater and depending if you're left or right-handed, what feels comfortable, I like to hold the scoop coater in my hand and take my thumb and position it here. And then I lift up the screen. I have it on a slight angle. I hold it with my left hand. I'm gonna start about an inch from the bottom and I'll stop about an inch from the top. I get the emulsion even. Because it is liquid, I will take the scoop coater, I'll lean it forward, and I'm gonna wait for the emulsion, the bead, to hit the screen. As soon as the emulsion hits the screen, with even pressure, I stop, I lean back, I let the emulsion come back into the scoop coater, and then I do a little shimmy, and then I lift up. If you don't lean the screen back and do that shimmy, when you pull the emulsion off, it will drain down here. So one clean coat on the back side of the screen, then you'll put this in the dark room in the dry box, and it will take between four to six hours for it to completely dry and cure. Then you can expose your screen. So when you come into the dark room, you'll see the cabinet. You'll come over, open up the cabinet, and then inside of here, I have your screens. So you'll go in, find your name, and then you can pull your screen out. They're held in there with these wood blocks. When you're done, close the cabinet so no light gets in there. To print your film, open up your Illustrator file. You should have a stsu.edu Adobe account and you can sign in. After you sign in, you wanna go up to File and pull down Print. In the print menu, you want to choose the HP laser printer. Make sure you have the right size. So this would be 11 by 17. So in the page setup, make sure the document is set to tabloid. Then go ahead and hit print. When you hit print, you can come over to the laser printer and it will send it right to the printer here. Free printing is on and you don't need to log in with anything. Check your paper test print. If everything looks good on paper, I have a stack of free film for the class. If you returned or didn't buy film, you can use the film that I have here supplied. You'll come over and grab your 11 by 17 sheet and in tray number three, you'll pull out that tray from the printer. And then you'll take one sheet at a time and load that into the printer. 
place that on top and then close the tray. Then you can go back over to the print station and then print your job onto the film. 